Hello everyone, this is Chemdork, and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you about a little redstone delay circuit that I prepared that solves a problem that I see with the designs for delaying a redstone signal that I currently know about, which is basically these two. Um, there, there's a few other ones, but there are permutations on these, basically. Uh, the first one is the easiest case, where if you push a button, you just hook up a bunch of repeaters to it to delay the signal. This is very tunable, so you can tune these repeaters very easily and get exactly the amount of time you need. But the problem is that it's a little bit heavy on the repeaters. In fact, a lot heavy if you want to get anything longer than about half a minute. So it works out to be about five seconds gives you a maximum of two second delay. I mean, I'm sorry, about five repeaters gives you a maximum of about two second delay. And this works out to this 30 here is for 12 seconds. It takes 150 to do a minute delay, and five minutes of delay is a whopping 750 repeaters. So it's tunable, but it's not really easy to do anything longer than, like I said, say about 30 seconds. So another system that works to do longer periods of time is something like this. You may have seen it before. It's uh, basically called a dispenser timer where you push a button and an item gets spit out on a pressure plate and every five minutes this item will be, or five, in five minutes this item will despawn naturally in Minecraft, which then causes a chain reaction to spit out another one, etc, 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 and down the line and so on and so on. The problem with this is that uh, it's not tunable pretty much at all. So it has to be five, 10, 15 minute, 20 minute, and five minute intervals and anything in between you can't set it to, so you can't set this to seven minutes without some really weird things going on. So that really doesn't work. So there's this gap here. I wanted a redstone repeating or delay system to be both tunable and not use that many repeaters. And so I came up with this, and this is what I call the extended redstone delay system. We have a few circuits here, or extend, extended uh, redstone delay circuit, so ERD system or circuit. Um, this particular case, uh, it's made up of 21 repeaters, which lasts for 54 seconds, which is the equivalent of 135 sequential repeaters, so that's hooked up in sequence. And it works on the principle of two asynchronous redstone clocks starting uh, that eventually become synchronous. So uh, the clocks are slightly different timed from one another so that they start out asynchronous and then they become synchronous. So I'm going to push this button. It starts the clocks. They start out asynchronous, so that is, they both don't hit this AND gate at the same time. And eventually, they will hit this AND gate at the same time. These two torches will turn off at the same time, which in turn turns this torch on and powers their circuit. So this will be about 54 seconds. So as you see, these uh, you can see the two clocks, the one on the left and the one on the right. They're again asynchronous with one another, which means they're not like hooked up and they're not in sync. And then, uh, so they start out that way, and then uh, they're adjusted so that they're slightly different time, so that, like I said, they eventually become synchronous. So we'll wait for this to happen. It's pretty soon. I think it's been yeah, maybe one or two more cycles. Yep, it's getting very close. Uh, oh, well, one more, one more. There it is, okay. And so it shuts itself off so that you don't have redstone clocks going forever and ever. And it's a pretty simple circuit. It's pretty much, like I said, just an AND gate. There's a piston system, two clocks, and an RS NOR latch. Um, a few other examples. This is a really small one, which can be for 10 seconds. It's made up of 20, uh, 15 repeaters, which really isn't a lot of repeater savings. Um, but here's another one. This is 25 repeaters, so that's in total. Uh, 10 repeaters here and 10 repeaters here for the clock. This is worked out uh, to be a maximum of 1 minute 29 seconds and uh, the equivalent of 225 sequential repeaters. And if you don't believe me that this can be a good savings, if you take this and basically double the clock length to 20 and 20, as in this case, that's a total of 45 repeaters. This will be a maximum of about 8 minutes delay, which is the equivalent of 1,200 sequential repeaters, which is crazy. That's a crazy large amount. So this much gives you an 8 minute delay. And uh, like I said, it is tunable. There's a little bit of trial and error that goes along with it, but I'll show you a system for working that out. So let's go ahead and build one. It'll uh, help me explain a little bit how it works as well. So let's build, uh, let's start it out, build this. 
Um, an important part about it is these three repeaters right here, here, and here. They are needed unless you start the redstone signal coming out of this block and then down over there and then down over there or torch system. But basically you need to have these three lengths of redstone and not interfere with, with one another. Then we're going to build our RS Nor latch. This is uh, my one of my favorite designs of the RS Nor latch. It's very, it's flat and very tiny, and it works really great. Then you hook this up to the pistons. So we'll set our sticky pistons right here and here. Um, this will be extended. So this is an RS Nor latch, like I said. So when you click this button, you can click this button as many times as you want. It doesn't do anything else except for what it does. Uh, let's use blue. All right, now let's build our uh, clocks. And let's build it with uh, what this one has, which I believe is eight and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this is good time for us to look at this. And remember I said the clocks start out asynchronously, which means they don't start in sync and they hit this AND gate at the different times. Because if they started in sync, this would just go right on through to the AND gate and there would be no use for this system. So in order to start out of sync, you need one side to have a direct line to the AND gate that is at least two repeaters longer than the other side. You can adjust it to be a little less, uh, but actually, no, you can't do less, but you can do a little more on one side. Eh, we'll build into the night, don't worry. Um, so in this case, I found two repeaters is a good length to give you pretty much the maximum, so we'll do it that way. We'll do, uh, we'll do two on this side total. One, two. Uh, make sure you extend them all the way. You don't have to, but uh, it gives you the... Uh, you can tune that later, I found. And we'll put two more extra here. Three, four. And that means we need four on this side to complete the clock. Three, whoops. Four, okay, that's a total of eight. One, two, three, do, 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 do. Hook up that redstone to this line right here. And make sure you complete the clock. This is very important so that I can go around in a circle. And uh, let's give ourselves some light here while we're building. The glowstone would be nice. Where's the glowstone? Where right, can I find glowstone? There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. All right. Oops. There we go. And, okay, perfect. And let's continue this circuit. Uh, remember, it's just two here, and then redstone up. Uh, let's start things, whoops, just like that. Build our AND gate first, or at least set it up for our AND gate. But let's continue this. We need six more repeaters. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six for a total of eight repeaters on both sides. And then um, this signal is going to need to go back around and connect back to this R. The signal from the AND gate needs to connect back to this RS NOR latch. So uh, you're going to need to either overlap or under, have these things go under or over one another. I like to just put it under. It's fun to do that way. Don't know why. It just kind of looks a little better too. And then hook it up right to there. So there you go. And then this ends up hooking back into this AND gate. Oops. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that'll do. Do, 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 do. It looks like it's very significant that way, but uh, it's actually not. Um, there we go. Oops. And then finally our AND gate, which is just like that, that, and that. There's a bunch of different designs you can use. This is just an illustration, so it, we don't have to do anything crazy. And here you go. Let's uh, put a little door there. Uh, I guess we could put, now we'll do an iron door. Iron door. Okay, so this is a 54 second timer. But like I said, it's tunable. So in order to tune this thing, um, but our, our system's not done yet. Our system's not done yet. One key function is the fact that these clocks are exactly the same time. They will never become synchronous if you don't set one slower than another. And in this setup, you get the maximum amount of time if you set the one that is uh, shorter, has a shorter path initially, to just a bit, uh, just a bit faster. So one tick delay. This gives us the maximum signal out of this entire circuit.
And that'll hold true for no matter how large you make these clocks. Um, in order to tune it, you just decrease this side and that side and this side and that side. And I recommend kind of do it in that, doing it in that order. Decrease this by one tick, see what happens. It has a pretty dramatic effect. If you decrease this one by one tick, or in effect make uh, this one one tick smaller after you've decreased this one, you'll notice it doesn't make a huge effect. So mostly take the shorter one and keep decreasing until you get to the proper place, and then mess around with this timing thereafter. So, oh, actually, you know what? I have mobs on. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I thought that was... Oh, never mind. It's a door. Um, so there it is. That, that was the original. And I know that turning this into a 24-second timer can be done by taking this right side, the, which is right here, and decreasing it by two ticks. So that's one tick, two ticks, and then taking this left side and decreasing it by one. And that was just some, some trial and error, just a few times playing around, so let's test it out. This should be about 24 seconds. So if everything works out right, this should work just fine. And uh, 24 seconds later, we'll have ourselves a little timer. Now, anybody who um, has been watching my Buildcraft series might know what I'm going to be using this timer for. Um, we will be using it in the Buildcraft world. So just stay tuned, guys, for that. But uh, otherwise, you know, please, like, uh, this is not the most compact I can make this. Oh, there you go. That works. Pretty cool. Um, this is not the most compact I can make this circuit. I can definitely make it a little more compact. In fact, I encourage uh, you guys to try to make it more compact uh, and uh, let me know what you what you get. And um, yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, and actually, what we're gonna do here is let this go one more time and then let's adjust it even further. Let's play with this right side and see how long we can do it. Let me get my stopwatch ready. All right, so my stopwatch is ready. One tick less, and let's see how this one fares now. Oops, started a little late, but that's okay. Um, we'll get an, we'll get a general idea. There we go. Uh, about 17 seconds or so, 16, 17 seconds, so pretty cool. So uh, there you go, guys. This is the ERD circuit, the extended redstone delay circuit. So hopefully you guys will have some use for this. Um, thanks for watching this video, and stay tuned for the next vid. Take care, guys. Bye-bye now.